See, bullets don't have no color. We use, we use the phrase in, at the end, to whom it may concern. See, you don't know who you're shooting at. Most of the time, you don't even see who you're shooting at. You were in the South in an outfit that didn't believe that you could cut it. And they did everything in the world to make you say that I'm a quit. I, I'm, I don't want this Marine Corps. But we had made up our minds that we wanted the Marine Corps, and that's what we did. It wasn't no racial re issue. You had two Marine Corps <laughs> at that time. You, you had the Marine Corps that was for the African American Marines, and you had, a, you had the regular Marine Corps for the regular Marines. We were outsiders, and we were trying to break the color barrier, get into the fight with the, what we felt was the best fighting force that the, the United States had, and we wanted to prove ourselves that we were good enough to be one of them, and that which we did. We went out of boot camp. We went through a uh, ammunition demolition school, and then we went right into combat. Our first battles was Saipan, Guam, and Tinian. It took everybody together to survive. Commanding General FMF Pack Harlan M. Smith, after our initial baptism of fall, how we came in hollering mad, declared that we were Marines. We were fighting Marines of the Marine Corps. In those islands, we proved ourselves that we were just as good of fighters as the Marine Corps had. You were no black, no white. That meant that you were a United States Marine. 